Well, good afternoon fun seekers. I hope you're all alright. Doing fine and dandy. Not done a vlog in a while, so I thought, well, not so much a vlog. Uh, but you know what I mean. Not been on for a while. Last videos put up work of the ER5. Uh, the pair of them, they've both gone. People have asked me what's been going on with them. I've, did I carry on with the project? Nah, got rid. I was going to spend too much money on it. Couldn't be bothered. Uh, well, not couldn't be bothered. It was just going to, it just wasn't cost effective. Um, and then the other one needed a new exhaust. The one I was riding, got rid of that. Uh, part exit for something else. We'll come on to that in a minute. We've moved out of the shed. No longer the shed monster. Now we're back, uh, now in the garage. Uh, but as I say, more space, a lot better situation to be in. Uh, shed was freezing and it was a pain trying to do anything in there because it was so small. Um, moved house, wanted to move anyway. Bike stuff was getting all over. Dining room, spare bedroom, everywhere. And it was getting a bit of a pain. Uh, but that and being a musician as well, you know what it's like if you're a musician or if you have anything to do with music, you end up with cables everywhere and it was just taking over the house. So I've moved all my stuff into this, what is new, that the now new man cave comes shed monster place of being. And I'm not going <laughs> to carry on waffling. Uh, we're going to move on. Oh, I've got a new camera. That's why I stopped doing the vlogs, uh, stopped doing the, uh, the videos because the camera I had was a bit naff. Um, it did the job but there was no mounting so I've been and bought myself uh, the Sony uh, what is it it's the HDR AS15 the one with the Wi-Fi it's got the waterproof case I'm using it at the minute so I can't show you it but it's got the waterproof case 149 quid in Argos um, but have a look elsewhere I've not done a review on the camera yet because well it's the first time I've used it uh, so we'll come to that in a minute. Couple of great thanks, um, Delboy from Delboy's Garage, and also Dave Duke Dyson. Been watching the videos, mate. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, Learned a lot as it happens. Uh, you know, been watching them for a couple of years now. You're doing a great job, mate. We really do appreciate. It. I know I speak for a lot of other YouTubers when I say it. we really do appreciate what you're doing because it's helping. A hell of a lot of bikers save a hell of a lot of money, and that's, that's just fantastic, man. Really, is fantastic. Um, and Doug Dyson as well. The questions and answers you're doing at the minute, brilliant, brilliant, absolute great stuff. Uh, and also NTA as well um, over there in the states. Sorry, clearing up snow today. Crikey! I know we're going to get it soon, but uh, we haven't got it yet. But uh, I like your little snowblower. Great stuff. Going to move on, and we'll show you. Um, Oh, this camera that I've got, by the way, you work it from the from the old phone as well. So you've got your screen and what you can see. You can start, stop, change the image, all that malarkey on the phone. So great little app, nice little camera so far. But we'll do a review on that a little bit later on. Also got some mounts to uh, stick on the bike, get around a bit. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right then, going to move on. I'll show you the new bike. Okay then, so what did we get? We part axed the part X, axed, yeah, part axed it as well. Part X the uh, ER5, and we've got ourselves a Bandit 600N or N600, whatever you want to call it. Um, got a really good deal on it, so really happy. It's been running an absolute dream. Probably had it about six months now. Just not had a chance to show you any of it, uh, show you anything of it, but. A uh, few extras, it's got, you know, the usual, it's the same as every other Bandit's extras. It's got the rental bars, and the little screen, and the twin headlights, and the oil cooler uh, guard with Bandit written on it. You know, it's 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 kind of the uh, the norm. It's had the extra, uh, the nicest seat put on it. Uh, engine crash bars, that's a Ducati pipe. Uh, so it's had that on there, and it's a hell of a good clean because it's been uh, well. It's the first time I've had a chance to do anything because it's the first time I've had a week off, quite frankly. Uh, hence these videos. Uh, also, I said about the bigger, bigger premises. So we've got tools and, and stuff set up, nice, accessible. You've got a dart board. Great stuff. Right then, we're going to put some uh, um, very, very shortly. I'm going to have to wash it. I'm not going to video washing the bike because, quite frankly. I don't see the point. If you want to know how to wash your bike, uh, go on to Delboy's Garage. 
<laughs> watch him wash his bike. Because <laughs> I do a lot of swearing and, and grunting about it, so you, you don't really want to see that. Oh, back over here. So we've got a few jobs to do on the bike. Electrics. I don't know who had this bike before me, but they've 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 put on the uh, LED indicators. They've done an interesting thing with resistors that I've never seen before. Um, and I know what you're all thinking. Oh, it's there. You put the resistors across the across the uh, lights, make them flash at the right speed. All the lights do flash at the right speed. That's not the problem. They've used one resistor and then tied the other one in, which is quite interesting and it does work with an illuminated tax disc holder. So the tax disc holder flashes but it, it balances the impedance, if you know what that is, impedance of the, of the lights, which is a bit bizarre. Um, <coughs> and They've weighed it in with, I don't know, they've weighed it in with gaffer tape and cack. They've made a right mess of it. Um, and I need to do something about that. Uh, so I'll show you how I do things like that. There's a few other things on it uh, I might want to change. Not quite decided. I need to make a new exhaust mount because I'm not happy with the one that's on it. So there may be some fabrication urge uh, coming on the channel. Uh, but stick around. Uh, subscribe as I say hopefully now we've got the new camera and spent a fortune on it I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to use it I? <laughs> so stick around subscribe like any ideas quite welcome because at the minute I've got a bandit with all the extras that looks like every other bandit I pulled up at Matlock the other week and next to me was a bandit in black exactly the same with all exactly the same extras and I'm gonna have to do something about that it's not so much modifications as bolting stuff on so anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you all next time next up will be a uh, be a bit of a riding vlog video i need to make some some sort of camera mounts because the mounts that this camera came with are really what i want they've got it's got a couple of mounts a flat plate mount could put it on the back and a curved mount that you're supposed to put here I don't want to ride around with a video camera on the top of my helmet. I don't mind here, but I, I don't want it sticking out there. Part of the reason being, I know I'll forget about it, and I'll come in, open the garage door, and there will go the top of the camera. And that will, although it'll be amusing on YouTube, it won't be very funny for me. Uh, so, as I say, stick around, stay tuned, and we'll see you all very, very shortly. Thank you.